I have to play and start? Fuck you. <laughs> That's the intro. <laughs> Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Yup. And look, we're in the cubicles, just like everyone's... Oh my god, it's me. It's you? Yeah. Oh look, it's me, I look so handsome. Oh, there she is. I fucking hate these parts of games. It's like, oh, we're gonna bore the shit out of you for five minutes. Yeah, like... It's like swag, my guy. <laughs> You know that awesome interactive gameplay that you had with just stabbing people with knives? Here, have an office simulator while you're waiting for the next chapter. B? Uh, I think it's sample 17. Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, I, we'll figure it out. This is super weird. Oh. I think you chose it correctly the first time. Yeah, because it said go to the CEO's office, but it's sending me to the CCO. Oh. Ha! Huh, typo, I hope. That'd be really funny if that was just a typo that they never fixed. You know, there was a typo that ruined an entire game because they didn't catch it for so long. What? They made a... For Aliens Colonial Marines, it was already a shit game beyond this, but they <laughs> fucked up the AI. Because instead of patrol, they put it to, like, patrally. Patrally. So... <laughs> um, the AI was more fucked than it should have been. <laughs> And they didn't catch it for a while, apparently. So what, they were just saying patrally? No, it's like, instead of patrolling around, they just stood there. Oh my god. How'd they not catch that? I, I don't know. I feel like that'd be a very easy thing to catch, especially since you have, you know, AI patrolling an area instead of just standing there. Exactly, but they didn't catch it. And thus and ended their game. Yep, fucked what it up. Miss, Sorry, I thought I got it. Well, uh, what? What game was that? Aliens. Oh, that's right, you said Aliens. I'm sorry. God. <laughs> I am the dumb. Oh my god. Oh. It's a mid 20 CEO with his fucking sweater. Hey man, the graphics on the, this game were great at its time. What? That's not what I'm talking about. Oh, I thought you were talking about his, like, like weirdly realistic face. No, I'm talking about how it's a like a mid twenties, thirty CEO. Oh of a god, giant what's company. happening to the shading? Right. Um, it's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> this is three sixty, my guy. I know, but like holy crap, the shading was freaking out on his face. I fucking hate this. Oh, and I might have to get a salary job soon. Oh yeah? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because you know I always said my boss was out for a few days. Mm -hmm. He comes to me today and he's like, you know, I might never come back. What? Yeah, because he's had throat cancer. Oh, jeez. So they're going to cut a hole in his throat and put a tube, like, out of his body so he can breathe. Oh, that does yeah, not have sound Have you ever pleasant. seen those? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my mom's friend's kid had one. No. And, yeah, um... And, like, he's not going to be able to eat anymore, so he's going to have, like, a hole put in his stomach so he could, like, feed stuff in through there. What the hell? Yeah, and he's going to be like, yeah, I'm probably not going to work anymore. How old is he? Uh, 80-ish. Gee, that's got to suck. Yeah. So, you know, it was, it's sad to see him go like that. Mm. And, like, it's... I'm woefully unprepared to fill his position. Yeah, especially since you haven't worked there for too long. Well, I've worked there for, like, a few years, but it's just annoying that, like, they expect me to fill his position. Uh, almost. I mean, hey, that means you'll be the boss of those of the people that are annoying you. No. Because it would pretty much... I don't think that they'd hire another me for me. Like how I'm his assistant. Mm, gotcha. I think I'd just become the guy, and they'd be like, you're young enough to handle all this not gargantuan amount of work. <laughs> Here, take this entire, like, thing of workload that should be done by three people. Well, the thing is, uh, they'd probably expect me to do, like, the same job as him, but they wouldn't pay me more. So I'd be like, yeah, if you wanted to do this, salaries are nice. Yeah. Like, what? now, like, for... So, like, the salary is like a set amount, right? Or Yeah. Like, no matter how many hours I work, at the end of the week, I'm still getting, like, X amount. Dude, which... they could take advantage of that so hard. <laughs> yeah. But he doesn't work that much, so I'm hoping if I were to take his position, they wouldn't, you know, 
work you as much. Yeah. I'd <laughs> probably be like, hey, yo, um... Are we supposed to go back to the Animus? I don't know. But, but oh, no, we're hacking. Okay. Yay! Why? I don't know. Hey, there you go. You did it! I didn't know what I was doing. Exactly. But yeah, so... I'm hoping that I could just like... Hey, yo, I want to do the same work he did. Or I'm fine with doing a little bit more, but... Could I have an assistant and could I stop doing all the other bitch work? <laughs> you know? December 23rd. Would that be nice? <laughs> Make Lord Leland your assistant. <laughs> yeah, he would flip his shit. <laughs> Just walk up to him, you my bitch now. Do I have to... Uh, I think you just have to exit out. Okay. Yeah, cool. So I... Oh, I thought they were making us hack 33 of them. I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a we'd be back. I remember that when I first played through this game, mm. I actually hacked every single computer. Why? Just because I wanted to see what Easter egg there was. And? Congratulations, you hacked everything. Good job, buddy. Slap on the back. Yeah. Nothing. But where do I go? Go Probably go back to the Animus. Okay. I'd assume so. Well, it... it uh, or not. Oh, no, you're getting giving the data to him. Oh. So I did just randomly go to the right place. He's the hot dog guy, right? Yes. <clears throat> well, not really hot dogs. They're just there's it's just tech. Oh wait, no, it's food. Never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, it'd be weird if there was their little like gazebo there in their corporate office. I could see food though. <laughs> well, more of just drinks. Either way. Is he their coffee boy? Well, usually coffee boys just run and get the coffee. They don't fucking make it. But I guess if you have like a big enough company and you spend that much on coffee, you could probably pay somebody to make you pretty decent coffee for not that much. Yeah, just hire baristas to do so. Exactly. Like if I had this much money where I ran this building, mm -hmm. oh fuck you, bud. I feel like you'd be doing a lot more fun things. Yeah. Well, I'd probably have a lot of responsibility, so I couldn't do, like, irresponsible things. <laughs> but I'd probably just, like, build a giant, like... Um... Like, statue in your honor? No, just, like, a giant, like, house for myself. <laughs> and just kind of live there. Yeah, like, um... One of your, like, C CEOs just kind of comes into your office he, he walks in you're just sitting there <laughs> a thing of cocaine two hookers next to you is like what's up no Genu do cocaine <laughs> i know you don't but it's funnier that way nah, honestly the basement dweller life is strong with me see like uh, i don't i don't like the whole basement dwelling like i like i like how it's constantly cold because then I could use my heated blanket in the summertime. Shut up. Ew. But, um, no, I, I hate the fact that I don't have, like, any sunlight coming in. Well, I like it obviously being lit. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, the lifestyle of playing on my computer. Like, just being in a cooler environment where nobody bothers me. Yeah. I'm like a fucking gecko in that respect. <laughs> <laughs> just, just walk up. Well, I was watching a video while you were dicking around of a gecko who just like sits out in the morning, it's in a desert, and licks dew off its eyes from the fog. I and that's how it gets hydrated. So you're talking about the the part to where I just came to your house and pissed, and I was like, I wasn't dicking around. I was making sure I didn't piss myself during recording. I mean, no, I don't, I don't care that you peed. <laughs> and you're, what does that have to do with geckos? Oh, I, I thought that was, that's what you're saying when you saw the video. But then I realized I was, like, setting up and texting multiple people. So you're like, okay, I go on Twitter. Yeah, you're fucking cousins. Yeah. Also, I don't think my joke went over too well in the group chat. What joke was that? I implied that giant fuck sheep. <laughs> As funny meme. <laughs> he doesn't fuck sheep, but it was a funny thing to say. I I laughed at that this morning. I just didn't respond. <laughs> well, she uh, the way she did, like she thought I was serious. 
<laughs> oh wait, no, that was yesterday. That was or, today. No, that was today. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Everything blurs when you're editing. <laughs> yeah. You call me a bitch. He was James Kidd. Hey. You know. Ryuji's persona. <laughs> it is. I think we've made that joke before. <laughs> it is. I know it is. Well, Captain Kid. Yeah. Well, I know we've made that joke before because I'm pretty sure you put it as the title of the goddamn episode. Did I? No, I didn't. Or you tweeted out something about it. Something about that. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Re. I mean, when in doubt, just kind of come over here, see what animals can murder you at once. I don't think many animals fight you in Assassin's Creed. Yeah, except for those fucking jaguars in some of the islands. God oh. damn, those things were annoying. Eh. Eh, show me that big of a deal. Okay, they're annoying to me because I was trying to get, I was trying to max out every single like upgraded piece. Mm -hmm. So I had to get their uh, fur for it. Do you think it? Uh, do you think we can get through this game just fine without many upgrades at all? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I just got him to make killing people a little bit easier, but you could probably get through with no upgrades whatsoever, really. I hope so, because that's not what we're going for! <laughs> yeah, I don't want to spend time just sticking around and upgrading. This sounds that fun. God damn, how many times have you yawned? I'm really tired. When did you go to bed? Good question, my guy. <laughs> Good question. Well, you didn't, you didn't sleep? No, I did. Oh, just, okay. Yeah. Um, go up on the perch. Uh, oh. Up, up on the thing. There you go. It's it's the Mayan stuff. There you go. And now you just gotta move it in the right direction. And everything should be hunky dory. Some of these things are a pain in the ass later on. I believe it. Oh. Yeah. Right. That's what it is. Yeah, I forgot about that. Did you ever get that armor? What armor? Uh, there's an armor that unlocks when you do this. I don't know if it was. I I always get the best armor in the game, but it's like it's okay armor. Mm -hmm. The whole thing with it is that like you literally can't get shot. It just reflects off and hits the enemy back. Oh, that's cool. But defense-wise, is not the greatest, and it also doesn't look the greatest, at least in my opinion. Oh, that sucks. I prefer the, um, the Templar armor. What the fuck is all this shit? Oh, the locations on where they all are. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> I mean... Why is James Kidd being boring? Kill someone, you're a pirate. Please, just... Run into a random civilian and stab him with a knife. Yeah, you're a fucking pirate. <laughs> Actually, do you know why pirates had earrings, apparently? Why? It's so that if they died and washed up ashore, people would have enough money to bury them. Oh! Yeah, like, usually, or sometimes, apparently, that they'd have, like, their hometown or something engraved on the earring. So that they knew where to send the corpse. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I mean, like, some people probably go, like, oh, it's a pirate, let it... Let it just drift. Yeah. No, you can't get that treasure chest. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why aren't you climbing, you dumb bitch? Like, come on, give me that money. Exactly. He, like, his running animation is super sloggy. Right here. Yeah. I think Oops. it's because you're in a dialogue section and the game goes like, you have to move ten times slower because... Oh, speaking of Templar stuff. Oh, hey, it's the armor. Yeah, that that's what I like using for endgame, because you take significantly less damage against Templars, which, yeah. by the way, is every enemy in the game. <laughs> yeah. The story behind the, like, to get the Templar armor is actually pretty decent. I have no idea. I can't remember it. I was about to say, did you get the Templar armor? I don't know, maybe... <laughs> Yeah, this game is kind of old now, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, I played the shit out of it when it first came out, and then I just never went back to it. Because... Oh. I don't I know. I think I... Honestly, I think I sold it. Possibly, because you have a bad tendency in doing that. But, like, I don't know. 
I'm kind of way burnt out on Assassin's Creed games. Oh, I get that. This was the last one I... Okay, this is the last one I beat. Mm -hmm. Well, I beat Syndicate, but like Origins and Odyssey, no. Yeah. And also on that note... Bye.